Hi everyone and welcome to Web Easy Step Tutorials. This is Ahmed Fakhr and this tutorial about how to upload files with PHP, MySQL and JavaScript. In this tutorial, how to upload file, multiple files, drag and drop file, multiple files, show preview for images, save to database load files from database delete file download file add max file size validation add max file count validation add file type validation and all this with a easy to follow code if you want the code you can download it from the description. If you want to understand, I will explain step by step how to use the code and how it works in a second. Let's move it. Hi again. Before starting to explain how the code works, let's try how the library works. To show this, let's try to upload this image and this image like this and as you see it uploaded the multiple files multiple images with ajax if you go here you will show the files download.jpg linux.jpg i can download like this again can download i can delete file deleted if you show here and there is no file also i can drag and drop like this the file dragged so how the code works Let's go to the directory, the project directory. We have a CSS folder for CSS, GS for the library GS, the PHP, which hold four files, delete, download, load, upload. Uploads for the uploading files, like this image, if I delete it, the file will delete from here and finally I have the index.html here I call the jQuery upload file CSS and jQuery library jQuery upload file dot GS you can use it from here or download it from this link as a note, the full documentation is here. If you want to specify or customize the code as you need, you can use this documentation. It is a clear documentation, well supported. The second, I have a div with the ID delete upload and I relate the library using delete upload id the first parameter is url which called when i drag or try to upload a file it will call this file upload.php then i can specify multiple attributes from here the first is drag and drop i can make it true or false also multiple to make it multiple upload or not here i can specify the files types that allowed to upload it here i can make it show preview as you see here this is show the preview or i can make it false to no show the preview I can specify the 
height and width for the preview here the validation for the max file size max file count I can specify this number to be two files three files or as you want here the input name if you go here this is the input name which is my file I can specify the name from here the return type will be JSON here I can show the delete or not if I make it false it will hide the delete also I can hide the show download to hide the download I can specify the status bar with this status bar the drag and drop width this space I can add more width or reduce the width for the drag and drop here I have a three events the first event for onload which will call the load dot php to select files from the database make a loop and send it again to the json encode the returned will be json i make a for loop and append it to the dom the second delete call pack which will call delete.php here delete.php which also calls a database delete the file after this if successfully deleted the file it will alert file deleted the third is download callback which will call the download.php and path the file name to it it will go to this file here it will take the file name and path it to the header then force the browser to download this file now let's take a quick look to the upload.php here I specify the uploads directory then I make a call to the database I check if a file is sended to this file or not if ok I will check if it is a file or it is a multiple files if it is a file I will upload it if no problem with the uploaded I will insert it to the database if not you will show the error here let's make an example if I try to upload something like this there is an error you can follow the error by going to network show the upload.php and error failed to upload the file there is a problem when you trying to upload this file if there is a problem with the database you could show this message so this is if it is a file if it is a multiple file I make a loop and I will upload this file through the loop if everything is okay I will send the file names to the JSON encode to show it on the browser also I want to make a quick explain for the load.php here I make a connection to my SQL I select all files get the project dynamically then the page URL which 
HTTP localhost plus the project name then if there is a result and the result is not zero I will make a loop fill the details array to the JSON encode else I will show the message there are no files in the database also if there is a database error I will see the error into the JSON encode if there is any problem on using this library you can go to console and see if there is any error also you can test using the network it will help you to understand how the library works and if there is any problem you can show it here i hope this tutorial to be helpful for you if you have any question please leave a comment and subscribe for the next tutorial if you have any recommendation leave a comment thank you for watching see you next bye